Hi there. Drop down menus are going to make your spreadsheet easier to use and they're going to make it look better. Let's have a look at how we create them. In this series of two videos, we're looking at two different types of drop down menus static and dynamic drop down menus. A static drop down menu refers to some data that doesn't change, whereas a dynamic drop down menu, which is much more difficult to create, refers to some data which might change in the sense that more data might be added to it. Anyway, that's part two. In this part, we're going to look at creating a simple drop down menu that's straightforward, but it's going to really help the people and impress the people who are using your spreadsheet. So this is what we've got. As usual, we have an exercise file. So make sure you download the exercise file from our website and you can find the link uh, in the description of the, of, of the video below. So what I want to do here is in the cell under name, I want to produce a list of names. I want to produce a drop down menu like this, which when I click on it, just gives me a list of names. It's gonna save me a lot of time typing. It's gonna save the people who use the spreadsheet a lot of time typing. So how do we do that? Well, if I go back to the practice sheet, we can see that down at the bottom here, we have a list of data. So the first step is to type in the data that you want to appear in the drop down menu. I've got a list of people here, it could be anything really, but the first thing to do is to create a list in the spreadsheet that contains the data that you want to appear in the drop down menu. Could be on the same worksheet, but it might be on a different worksheet. It doesn't really matter. So that's the first step, create the list. Once you've created the list, we go back and we select the cell where we want the menu to appear. We then go to data at the top and the data validation icon and click on data validation. It's, it's called data validation because if we have a list, we are effectively controlling what the user is allowed to input into the cell, controlling or validating what the, what the user can put in the cell. That's why it's called data validation. There's lots of different types in Excel. There's numerical validation, which allows you, allows you to control um, a range of numbers that can go into a particular cell. The type we're using is a list. That's because a drop down menu gives a list of data that the user can choose from. So we're going to click on list and then Excel is asking for a source. So it's saying where is the list that you want to reference in this drop down menu. So we click on this button that's going to take us back to the spreadsheet. Then we just scroll down to our list, click on the first item of data, hold the mouse button, scroll down and then release the mouse button. Now it's important that you uh, select all of the data there and then we can hit the enter button on the keyboard. That takes us back to the dialog box and as you can see the references are in there. So this is looking good. Let's click OK. Let's see what happens. Back to the top and we can see we have a nice drop down menu here and we can select any item of data. We can see the data here corresponds exactly with the data uh, in our list down here. So it's that easy and for me that's a, a really nice embellishment uh, for a spreadsheet and a, a user-friendly feature that's going to allow people to save time. So that's a basic vertical list however we don't have to use vertical ranges of data we can also use horizontal ranges so let's practice that as well. Say in this cell I'm looking for a data item. I have a list of three data items in my database. So what if I wanted those three data items to appear in this cell? Again, I'm going to select the cell, data, data validation, and the data validation box. And then I'm going to go to list and source. And I'm at the stage again where I can select the range in the spreadsheet that contains the data that I want to appear in the drop down menu. So fairly straightforward, enter and OK. And again, we can see that a drop down menu has appeared because there's a nice arrow here telling the user there's a menu and then our three pieces of data are there. So nice and simple, fairly, fairly fast really to, to create that, but a really nice um, improvement for the spreadsheet. So that's the first method we're looking at to create drop down menus. We can just select a range in the spreadsheet, but what if 
the range that contained our data was somewhere else in the spreadsheet on another worksheet and it's quite difficult to reference, say. If that's the case, then rather than using the cell references, we can create a named range in Excel for the range of data, for the range of cells that contains our data and reference that named range. So let's have a look at that. So in this case, I'm going to go to the range that contains our people's names. And the first step is I'm going to give it a name. The fastest way to do this is to look at this box in the top left hand corner, the name box. Just double click and then type in the name that you want to use. So I'm going to use uh, Chris Range and then hit enter. And now I can see that Chris Range appears uh, in the name box. I can check that by clicking on, on uh, this little button and I can see that Chris Range is there. When I click on Chris Range, then my range is highlighted. So I've successfully named the range. So I can now reference that name rather than referencing the cells. So to produce the drop down menu, we're going through data validation and list and in source. So we're not going back to the spreadsheet. I'm going to put equals. It's really important to remember the equals and then Chris range. I've used the name range and this should tell Excel where the data is. So I'm just going to click OK and we can see that the arrow has appeared indicating that there's, there's a drop down menu. And again, um, our list of people is there. So it seems to have worked pretty well. So that's it really, uh, an introduction to drop down menus. We've taught there about static drop down menus fairly straightforward to create but they're going to save the users of your spreadsheet a lot of time. In the next part we're going to have a look at dynamic drop down menus. So if we wanted to add more data to our list of data that's going to appear in the drop down menus, how would we make sure that that data appears in the drop down menu? Join me on the next video.